What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to attack in the new motion matching animation sample. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. I just want to let you know that I just released a new free ebook that you can download for beginners on how to master Unreal Engine 5, so I'll be linking that in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so the first thing that we need is an attack animation. I got this one from Mixamo, but you can really use any animation that you want. Now, you might notice that I already have a weapon in my hand. That's because I already made a tutorial on how to hold and equip weapons in this new motion matching sample, so I will be linking that in the description. With that said, I'm gonna just right click and create an animation montage. An animation montage will enable me to, you know, play an animation directly from the blueprints. So let's go ahead and just name this something as attack montage. Cool. So now what we need to do is implement the code itself. So for this, let's go ahead and just open up the folder. Now, if I open up the animation blueprint, you might notice that I have a default slot over here, right in the anim graph. This is basically where all these states will happen. This slot is the slot that the animation montage will play in. As you can see, I have it right before the layers plant per bone, which is essentially splitting the body in two so I can hold this weapon over here, which is what I covered in the other tutorial, which I recommend checking it out. With that said, I'm gonna go just open up the sandbox character blueprint itself, go into the bank graph, and just add a left mouse button node. So basically, when I press my left mouse button, we will do something. In this case, we want to play an animation montage. So we can use this play and a montage node, and I can just go here and select an animation, right? So let's search for attack, and we can find it over here. Now you will notice that when I go and press play and attack, everything is bugged out. First of all, it's very uh, slow. And then also you can see that it's kind of animating like half the body looks, 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 looks uh, very weird, right? So the first thing I have to do is to put the play rate into two. As you can see now, it looks way nicer. And then the things that you will notice that if I take out the layered plants per bone, you know, thing that I made, it will look like this, which is how I actually want it to look, right? Maybe it's actually also a bit too fast. It's but like uh, 1.5, right? Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, but of course, the feet are broken. So what I want to do is essentially not play this montage in this slot. I want to create a new one and deal with it apart. So it will not be affected by this layered plant for bone. And then also split the button too so the feet look correct. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is go into the anim montage itself and go into this slot um, option over here and go into the slot manager. This will open up this window over here where I can create a new slot. Let's name this upper body, as simple as that. And now on this default group default slot, I'm gonna go and select the slot name to be the upper body. Save it, close it, open this back again, and you can see that now it will go and animate back again. And we have the upper body slot group, which is really cool. So that means that now I can go into the animation blueprint and right after my Larry uh, Blimper Bone, I can add a slot which I'm gonna select the default, go to the details panel and change it to be the upper body. Now, as you can see, the slot, okay, when I press play, we will play in the other part. And as you can see, I'm still holding the weapon, which is really, really nice. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this bone, paste it over here, and this means that now I can split the body in two. So I'm gonna just play the upper body in the blend process over here and do a cachet post and I cannot put local motion okay that means that now I can just right click put local motion not this one but the other one and this cache post will be essentially saving everything in a variable let's say right so I'm saving this and I'm gonna use it here and also I'm gonna copy and paste it and use it here so with that said you will notice that if I open up my skeleton and go into the spine 02 I can copy the bone name and paste it and replace it over here for this second layered plant per bone. And what we have done is split the body in two, right? From the spine two, downwards and upwards. In the lower part, we're playing the normal locomotion, which is saved on a variable here, and playing the slot for the montage. And in the base post, which is essentially the lower part of the body, we're just playing the locomotion itself. So now when I press play, you can see that I'm having the animation as normal, and I can go ahead and attack, as you can see, and everything will just work. So, we just got one last thing left, which is to add an attack, right? 
an attack, let's say, a system. So for this, let's go to the blueprint and add a sphere trace by channel. Now, what I'm going to do is wait a few seconds. Let's say like point, um, what? Like a whole second? Oh, let's wait like um, 0.3 seconds or 0.2, right? Um, so we can wait until the arm is kind of like hitting, right? So for this, I'm going to go back here and add a delay right before the sphere trace by channel. And it's going to be 0.2. With that said, I'm going to get the starting point, which is going to be the get actor location and put it over here. And then for the end point, I'm going to get the actor rotation. OK. And I'm going to get the forward vector. So I'm going to get the direction that the actor is looking. Then with that, I can just multiply this and add a float. Right. And let's say like 300 units forward. Right. So I have a distance. Then I can just add these two nodes together and plug them into the end, put a radius of 15 and just put it in four durations so I can see it. And now when I go ahead and press play, you can see that we have this kind of thing being applied when I attack, which is really, really cool. Maybe we could wait a bit more with the delay, like maybe like 0.5 seconds or something like that. And you can see that now it does appear when I hit, which is really cool. And last thing left is just to get if we have actually hit something with the branch, right? And then we have this out hit, which if we break, it will give us all these properties. So I'm going to get the hit actor and apply damage, right? And let's put like, I don't know, like 15 or something like that. Now, of course, right now we don't have a health system, but if so, it will work if you were to hit an actor and we'll apply damage. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of ongoing to five videos and tutorials, so check them out. If you're on my Discord server, check out my ebook, follow me on my socials, and now just, with all I said, bye bye.